he came here as a Cy Young Award winner. He has since been transformed into a curse. He came here as one of the cornerstones of a championship pitching rotation. He has since been responsible for its demolition. You never think about him, you hate reading about him and you wish all talk of him would just go away. But while Trevor Bauer might be long gone, he isn't going anywhere. As the Dodgers struggle to pitch their way through an unrelenting stretch of their early schedule, 31 games in 30 days, are you kidding me? Bauer remains the gift that keeps on taking. His absence impacted again Sunday even in the Dodgers' breathtaking, 5-4 comeback victory over the Philadelphia Phillies at a roaring and shaking Dodger Stadium. Yes, good times, the Dodgers were down to their last strike twice before scoring two runs in the ninth on Gavin Lux's game-winning, two-run double, sending Dodgers dancing out of the dugout to celebrate their biggest win of the season. But no, troubling times, it wasn't enough to make one forget the four runs allowed in less than four innings by Michael Grove, the second Dodgers starter making his big league debut in five days. And it wasn't enough to obscure the fact that the Dodgers' rotation, whose ineffectiveness has led to five losses in the last seven games, is a mess. It is a mess caused, in part, by Bauer. Bauer was signed two years ago to provide a safety net for a rotation that included the fragile Clayton Kershaw. So much for that. Kershaw is injured again, and the Dodgers can't replace him. There was signed to provide pitching depth in case Julio Arias wasn't quite ready to be a prime-time starter. Despite relentless protests from another Times columnist, Arias isn't quite ready, and the Dodgers can do little about it. Bauer also was signed to serve as a possible staff ace in case Walker Buehler struggled. Bueller's velocity is down, he's had a couple of uncharacteristic bad starts, and the Dodgers' starting pitching is reeling. Everything Bauer was signed to potentially fix needs fixing, and his loss finally is being seen on the field in a pitching staff so thin, meet the two minor leaguers. Ryan Pepiat walked five and hit a batter in three scoreless innings Wednesday in Pittsburgh, then Grove gave up four hits and walked four while Lux's booting of ground ball put the Dodgers in a 4-0 hole in the second inning. That Lux later redeemed himself with the game-winning hit was a sweet twist of fate that had the ever-excitable kid conjuring up big things. It's good to get a good one and kind of build on that momentum, Lux said. Problem is, momentum in baseball is the next day's starting pitcher, and that's more than a cliché, that's a reality, and in that area, the Dodgers have real problems, 